Welcome to another Guard Your Eye Daily Physic Broadcast. I think it's very important to speak about the ramifications of one who does not guard his eyes. There was once a boy who came to me for shidduch advice while he was dating throughout the uh, dating experience. And every so often he'd call me up and say, Rabbi, what do you say about this and this girl? He tells me to run down and go to the notion. And uh, I say, it's great. After two, three dates, he shuts it down. Second girl, third girl, we were in touch for roughly like seven, eight years. And the bottom line was, he wasn't able to commit to a girl. Every time in the back of his mind, he had the Hollywood stars, he had the girl down the street, as they say, the girl next door, and everything was just not, not as good. The comparisons, everything was driving him crazy. If we don't guard ourselves, uh, inevitably, our minds are going to make the comparison. Case study number one. Case study number two, for many years I did the marriage counseling, and a young couple, they came into my office, they sat down. After the short intake questionnaire, I understood right away there was something over there that was beyond the, the wife. She had nothing to do with it. I asked her if she could please leave the room. As I speak to this young fellow, I um, basically asked him a point blank. I said, so how many hours a day you spend surfing on improper sites. He looked at me with tears in his eyes. He says, but I can't stop. It's so hard. I just can't do it. I don't have it inside of me. I said, this is the problem. You don't find your wife attractive because you're constantly looking at the places. The thought is, you want to have a happy marriage. I don't believe there's anybody who does not want to have a happy marriage. Everybody wants to have a happy marriage. Everybody wants to run a family that's healthy, wholesome, be able to look at the wife in the eyes and say, I love you, and you're really beautiful. But one thing I can guarantee from all the years of experience that I had, if you are involved in this improper conduct, if you're involved in bad sites, if you're involved in, you can't control yourself on the streets, inevitably, your marriage will fail. Inevitably, your wife will look like a rag to you no matter what. Inevitably, you're going to be wanting a divorce or wishing you never married the spouse you married. Together, we can make this commitment, we can make an understanding that before we get to any solution, this cannot continue. Thank you for listening to the Guard Your Eyes Daily Chizuk Broadcast. Pass them on to your friends and help spread Kedusha in the world.